Yo, what's going on, guys? And what is going on? I don't know why my OBS is acting up a little bit, but we're going to real quickly go through this NBA March Raft. And I just want to hear you guys' thoughts. So we did one. We're going to try to keep doing these. We got two weeks till draft. I'll be at the NBA draft this year. I've been at the Combine for the last two weeks or last two years. This will be the first time I'll be at the NBA draft. So it'll be exciting. Did I, did I do that right? I don't even know if we did it right. But if you guys don't hear outside, Florida's right now being rained on like it's the what whatever causes no arc noah arc to happen that's basically happened here so with the first pick from what i'm here i personally would still take alex r seven foot one combination has the ability to kind of be maybe an evan mobley a jaron jackson jr type of guy in the front court that's what i would take but the hawks what we're hearing is they want to take a safer pick this guy kind of has like a cam johnson michael P porter jr kyle kuzma type like he's more of a three than a four but maybe he'll be a three four down the road he's the safer option they have jalen johnson who they believe is an all-star the idea is they'll trade deandre hunter and clint capella and trey young Dejounte murray zachary risache jalen johnson and onyeka okongu will coexist and allow this team to more efficiently and be able to contribute to being a playoff team hopefully next year than alex are so that's why zachary will go one now next up we got alex are going we we're literally playing daniel Gallinari and patrick baldwin at center at times the rockets over here they're probably going to trade out of this but i think they they're not going to take a center here and if they do take some if they do keep this pick i think they're going reed shepherd they need to, i would not be surprised if stefan castle is the guy right here but i think they took a men thompson already last year so they're not going to go for another guy who's kind of like a similar skill set not a true point guard kind of a point guard who's more of the size of a wing so then the spurs right here the spurs i think topich is going to be available later and this is a team that i think they want to win they want to win and i mm, i think stefan castle right here would fit the bill okay that would be the the normal pick but i'm not going to do that we're going to go back to the spurs and i think right here they take dalton connects because topich's injury i think topich will fall they'll fall they might trade somebody so i think they take connect over here buzelis seems like the obvious pick but with the trajan langdon being here and knowing how they've drafted in the past the the pelicans i would not be surprised i want to take ron holland but they took cody last year and i don't think they'll go i think Buzelis is just the 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 perfect pick for them right here unless they really want to go saloon i just don't think to john saloon will go there so then we go ahead hornets right here I just think the idea of Ron Holland going there just continues to fit perfectly in my mind. It doesn't make sense for why they wouldn't do that. Now, if you're the Blazers, I think the Blazers right here, they need a guy who can play power forward. And this is where I think Tijan really is perfect. He can play power forward. He can play hopefully small forward and maybe down the road some small ball big. And this is where Topic falls to eight because of the knee injury, even though I don't think the knee injury is that important in terms of like his draft stock. Again, I think Donovan could fall the nine to the Grizz. And if he does, he's getting taken there. At 10, I think Castle next to Keontae George is the dream for the Jazz. 11, I really think taking Rob Dillingham, if you're the Bulls, allows you to easily move on from Levine and gives you the guys. Now, here, mm, the Thunder, they seem like a team. I've been saying they go for Kyle Filipowski, but I've been hearing maybe a Keyshawn George might be the guy that they want. And we're going to say they go crazy and they take Keyshawn George that high. I think right here, my okay, this is a team that they might want to move on from Harrison Barnes down the road. And I think they need, like, I want Devin Carter to go right here. I think Devin Carter would be the guy to go over jacoby but jacoby does if they lose malik monk i think jacoby will help them more effectively in terms of scoring right now then the blazers are back on the clock and right here i think they go ahead and they take cody williams with the 14th pick as he slips out down here next up with the 15th pick i think you got the heater here they're going to be taking their man Devin Carter because he grew up in the building I think Jared McCain fits perfectly with what the Sixers need and that's three-point shooting then right here if the Lakers do keep this pick 
Ooh, this becomes difficult if they don't trade this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is like, this is hard. I think they're going to look at Kyle Filipowski if he's here and they're going to be like, we need kind of like a guy like that off the bench and he's actually going to be able to contribute day one. Now, Orlando right here, I think they'll go Johnny Furphy to give him more shooting and some size. And then at 19, Zach Eady kind of just works out perfect right there as he can be the backup for Pirtle. And if they do want to move on for Pirtle, they can do something about that. De Silva right here to Colorado, from Colorado to Cleveland works out. I think right here... Mm. This is where it becomes difficult. I guess they don't have a true point guard, backup point guard. I know there's Dyson Daniels there, but Isaiah Collier, you get a guy with good potential. I think right here, Khalil Ware, especially that they need a big man. If they do keep this pick, the Suns do get themselves somebody that can help them out. I, I think if they're going to draft somebody here, the Bucks are going to take someone who can help them to win day one, and that's Tyler Kolick. I think it just makes sense for them. Now, looking at the Knicks, I think Ryan Dunn, if he's fallen here, he's going to be a guy that Tom Thibodeau is going to love. And if they want a big, I think that big is going to be Eves Messi. If they do keep both of their picks, they get themselves two players who can help come help them out now. Here, I think it's a potential pick. You got to take someone with potential. And I think that guy is Carlton Carrington and we need a front court guy. So, I mean, we took a front court guy. Let's take a back court guy now. The, ooh, ooh. Baylor Shireman's a guy who's been climbing up the boards, but Kevin McCuller's here, and I think Kevin McCuller fits more what Minnesota needs at this point in the draft. Nuggets are on the board right here, and do they take Bobby Clinton or do they go for another wing player? And I think they do, and they go after a guy like Jalen Tyson out of Denver, which I think can help them you know, from the first day. And then over here, you got the Utah Jazz who are back on the clock. They could be a team that likes Tyler Smith. He, Tyler Smith's either a wing player or he's John Collins. You still got a side. Over here, mm, would they want to take the headache that is Terrence Shannon with the media case? Maybe they do, and they go get themselves more wing depth at the wing position because the other positions I feel like are easier to fill out. Now, if you're... Ooh, you, if you're this is where it gets difficult if the second round where is where it becomes hard to choose who's going to be taken and not be taken this is where i want to hear your guys' thoughts before we continue this video who do you think is going to be taken so yeah if we continue this i think now if we look again for oh it just becomes hard looking at the raptors second pick who they would want to go because i feel like they would want to go with the guy who can help them right now um it's literally uh, a crapshoot, one could say. I feel like Camp Christie right here would be great for them. And it kind of fits with their their needs or th things that we've seen them looking for. Utah Jazz are back on the clock. They took a point guard. I think here they'll go. I feel Bobby Clintman's this is the right type of project they would want to go with because he kind of fits well next to Taylor Hendricks. If they, for some reason, keep this pick too, let's go that they need shooting Baylor Shireman fits what milwaukee needs there and milwaukee they need shooting so i like that aj johnson's kind of a project and he's either going to be a guy who plays the one to two spurs i think they oof i want him to take Juan yunez because the, mr topage is injured but i don't think that's the the right pick in my mind so we're going to go back and i think this would be the team that take nikola jersich if they were to go back and dip and get the multiple guys right here, they still haven't added Enrique Freeman. No, they have added Enrique Freeman. They have the 50th of 51st. I think someone will take Enrique back, th back there over here. I could see them going. Hmm. I think Deron Holmes, as they might lose a big, I think Deron could go here already near Indy being in Dylan Jones. If he's on the clock, Minnesota's to coming up and taking Dylan Jones. That's not even a joke, ladies and gentlemen. He fits so perfect. New York's on the clock again. I think they like the idea of a Justin Edwards. You come in, you get him. Um, they could take a point guard like a Juan Yunez or and a Jay Mitchell. I think right here, this is where you, a Jay Mitchell could go. Memphis has done, you know, for the last couple of years taking guards back here. Uh, Ulrich Chamanchi, 
or Chomchi. Chomchi, I think, or yeah, could go right there. I think that fits. I think Mogbo right here, he can play the four or the five. That's a Daryl Morey pick if I've ever seen one. Charlotte, they take the local kid in terms of guy who went to college in the area, UNC. Now, Miami, they took get Devin Carter, so that's not gonna make I don't think they'll take Ethan Almansa. That's a that's a pick that they like. If not Melvin Melvin Ajinsa, kind of seems like a guy that they like. Adem Bona would be the athletic freak that Emma Udoka would like to have in his area. I think Melvin Ajinsa fits with what Sacramento needs, some more wing players, swing men. I mean Clippers would snatch him up there. I think Pacom the diet. I haven't really seen much of him in person. So he could be someone that could be good. Maybe not. We don't know. I think Keyshawn Johnson, he's a guy, he's a tweener, could fit with what Orlando wants to run over there. And then over here, I think looking at, again, back on the clock, he took Jurisic. I think taking a Frenchman here would be the most believable thing. What Frenchmen are available? There isn't really anybody screaming to me that's from France. Like, I don't think they're going to take Terry Darlin just to make him happy. And Babacar San. Oh, this would be. Okay, so last year they took City Sissoko, and I feel like this could be the guy that they do here. I'm pretty sure Payton pulled out of the draft. So I'm just going to, because they don't have, this is a forfeited pick. All right, right here is where Enrique Freeman will go. I'm 95% sure Enrique Freeman is going to be drafted by the Indiana Pacers. If I was a betting man, I would bet that Enrique Freeman is going to be drafted by the Indiana Pacers. So put that money there. Juan Yunez, maybe the potential TJ McCollum replacement. <laughs> yeah. And then over here, I like the idea of, oh, there's still Bronny James on the clock. But that's not going to happen. Hmm. I don't think they'd be the type to take a Cam Spencer. I think they would go Pelly Larson. What if they did take LeBron, Bron, Bronny James, and they're like, we're going to bring Bron here. This is a K KJ Simpson move. I could see that happening. 54. They've loved taking point guards. So Jamal Sheed seems like someone that they would like. Boston. I like the idea of them taking Cam Spencer, a guy who can pass a little bit, come from a winning program. Then, of course, Bronny James at 56. 57. I like Osu going there. 58. Jalen Bridges, I think they would like. They, didn't, they took a, guard, a front court and a back court player. Now they take a wing. They don't have this pick, so we'll go Jalen Wills, Wells. And then with the last pick in the draft, the Mavericks. I really feel like they'll take 